What's up everybody, it's Tadpole Superhero, and today, we are playing more of The Struggle. I mean, Mega Man X. That's the name of this game, right? Mega Man X! Last time, with much blood, sweat, and tears. Literal tears. I was crying. Not really. Maybe. Shh. I'll never tell you. We beat Armored Armadillo, <laughs> and got the rolling... What's his weapon called? I don't even remember. What's his weapon called? <laughs> Attacks. Rolling shield. That's what we got. Okay. Today, we are going to attempt launch octopus. Uh, this is generally the best way to go with the method I've been taking. This is the way I beat the game anyway. It's a very difficult way to beat the game. Anyway, here we go. Launch octopus. Let's fight some tentacles and stuff. This is actually a really sweet stage. Uh, I love the boss designs in this game. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to rage a little less today. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So anyway, we got the rolling shield. Let me show you how that works. Shoot, one of these thingies. It's it's really cool. It's really effective. Oh, the missile tur turtles. The rocket bomb turtles. I remember you. No thanks. Alright, yeah, this this gets some cool enemy design. Yes! Alright. So anyway, we're gonna launch Octopus's stage, which is a flood. Oh. That's not so good. You don't jump as well in the water. Whoa. Yeah, that was my last life. Probably because I started after losing a bunch of lives against Armin Armadillo. Let's try that again. <laughs> I need to do some more dash jumping. That'll help. Alright. Let's play some video games. And I actually, I will not even touch using the rolling shield, actually. Because the rolling shield is what Launch Octopus is weak against. So, that is, that is a helpful thing to keep in mind. Is you want to use the enemy's weakness when you can. We couldn't do that against Rolling Octopus, or er, Rolling Octopus, Armored Armadillo, man. What am I talking about, man? There we go. No, you don't. You will not hurt me. I'm going to take as little damage as possible. Okay, now we descend into the depths. The depths of evil. Oh, not the seahorses. So you jump higher in the water. Uh, some cool stuff. Dang it, man. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. Go away. You're not wanted here. Gosh. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Mini boss time. Gosh, dang it. Oh, I can't hit the ones down. What in the world do I do? Oh, we got a dash, dash, dash. What? What is that? I beat him. I, I already beat it. Wow. I remember that being a lot more difficult the first time. I, oh, these guys. These jokers. They don't actually hurt you at all, which is really funny. No, stay away. Stay away. Stop it. Stop it swallowing me. You're not doing any... There are spikes. Okay. <laughs> Back at it again. This is, this is quite similar to the last episode. <laughs> so far. So far. Actually, I'm it's starting, starting a lot better. I'm just not s maintaining that level of excellence. I should not call this excellence. I'm getting, getting up in my brain now. What in the world? What am I doing? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, I still have lives. I still have lives. I still have something to live for. Okay, alright, alright. Cool, cool. Get out of the way. So those things explode and they hurt you and it's not fun. So you don't want to get hit by them. Take that. Dash jump. Do some of that. No, respawning enemies, man. I didn't think I was close enough. 
But apparently, I was. Alright, seahorses, I am ready for you. And all your shenanigans. I thought I was ready. I wasn't ready. Okay, alright. Mini boss! Good times, good times with the mini boss. Oh man, how do you avoid those? Gosh dang it. Okay, well, it takes a lot less damage than I thought. Okay, thank you for the health, good sir. Oh, okay, they can hurt you if, if they touch you, but not if they swallow you, which is, is weird. Super weird. Okay, no. No to the spikes. No thank you. All right. Oh, here we go. Hard mode. Hard mode engaged. No. Gosh. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's not Christmas. What am I doing? It's so far away from Christmas. Uh, man. This game's hard, guys. This game's hard. You know what would be really funny? Watch me play Super Meat Boy. I've never played it, but it would be really funny. Because <laughs> I'd be really bad at it. That's why it would be funny. So there's sort of this delicate balance when it comes to Mega Man's arm cannon between, you know, should I use the charge shot, which is, should I go for power, or should I use rapid fire? Uh, and depending on what you're fighting, there's, there's a good use for both. Truly, I tell you. Hey, thanks for that. All right, mini boss. Maybe. Now is the mini boss. Okay. So the second stage of the boss is harder because as we saw, spikes, platforms, difficult things. They're not very fun. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. So I'll probably be cutting things again. Probably be cutting out footage again because I'm probably gonna die a lot. That's my optimism speaking. Okay, mini boss. Oh, gotta get get into the zone. Okay, here we go. Dang it! I launched my charge shot. Wait, no spikes! Stop it! No, I didn't mean to hit the home button. Resume. All right, here we go again. Short hops, could have helped, could have helped. Come on, come on, bring it on. Bring it on, you robot eels. Hey, I did it. How about that, okay. Huh, moving forward. <laughs> Gosh, man, this is this is rough stuff. Okay, you don't want to end up in those cyclone things. Oh, what's with the bombs, man? No. Oh gosh. Oh man. All right. All right. All right. Keep on running, Mega Man. Oh, I know what's next. My buddy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There's the eel. So I should be fine to just sit here. I think this is how I tackled it before. Where is he? Come here. There he is. Hi, buddy. So you heard him by hitting the head or the tail. And this guy's really easy because as far as I remember, he can't hurt me up here, which is great. I'm very, very happy about that. <laughs> Let's try and hit him with a charge shot to the face, Jewel. He got a jewel on his on his face.
Come on, how much more do you want? How much more do you want? Alright, uh... Boringest mini-boss ever known. You coming back? You coming back? I missed you! Thanks for coming back! Yes! We got him! We got him. Are you gonna give me anything, please? Thank you! And now the next area opens up. No! I don't want to get eaten by pufferfish! Oh, just swallow me so I can destroy you. Thank you. No! Hey! That's the boss door! How about that? Coolio! Okay. Hey, yeah, get psyched up. Get ready for adventure. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I have a very particular strategy for this boss. It's really, like, very technical and strategic and awesome. You'll see, it's pretty cool. So just just get in a shootout with him and hope that I win is basically how it goes which I, I was close I was close okay uh, yeah I used a little too much ammo. That's what happened. I remember... I know, this isn't a very great way to defeat him. But, uh... One of the things you're supposed to do... Because his weakness is... Boomer is, uh... Well, it's the rolling shield. But you can eliminate his tentacles with, uh... The boomerang attack. Dang it. Alright, so I'm back. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. It's time. This is something I did the first time I beat the game. I was trying not to do it before. Cut out a lot of footage in the first episode. But. Uh, the thing is, now that I'm using ammunition against these guys, basically, if I lose one round. Then I'm out of that ammo, and then, you know, but I still have lives left. So, we're going to start using restore points. Please don't hate me. Please, you know, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's there. And it's a way to play the game. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't approve of it, but it's just, <laughs> as you guys can tell, I'm not that great at this game. So, here I am with full ammo. I uh, just it saves me a lot of time replaying through the level over and over and it saves you guys a lot of editing out of content. It saves my sanity. Is more basically what it is. So anyway, don't hate me please. Here we go. Launch octopus. I mean the only time I've beaten him has been in a in a just straight shootout. Which is not not an ideal way of fight what the heck man? No, I'm out. No, I was so close. Oh, and I was really quiet too. So here we go. This is my secret. Back to the restore point. Okay. Yeah, so basically it's a very luck-based strategy. I'm sorry, everyone who's better at this game than me. <laughs> How do you dodge that first wave of missiles, too? Oh, I almost did. I dodged the missiles, I just didn't dodge him. 
See, the great thing about the rolling shield is also it blocks some of his attacks. So it means you can do this stand up close and blast away at him. Oh man. And here we go again. I'm also starting with not full health, so that is a bit of an issue. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to jump. That would have been really, really helpful. Oh my gosh! I know, I was really quiet. Oh man. I did it! Yes! Another one bites the dust. And so I know exactly where we are heading. Next time. We are gonna go to Boomer Kwanger stage, because now, now I'm now I'm in the zone. I've got the weapons I need to, to go. I got the horming torpedo. Did you guys see that? Rewind the footage. If you can, or I'll put up a still shot of it. Uh, it said Horming Torpedo. So I'm actually, I'm going to put that up right now. Probably. I'm working on my video editing skills. Because I'm working on some cool videos uh, that are not Let's Plays. And, and trying to use more effects and images. So that Horming Torpedo <laughs> screen should be up right now. But uh, I never noticed that the first time I played this game. So anyway, back to the map screen. And this is where we'll be heading next. It is Boomer Kawanger stage. He's he's almost eight feet tall and weighs two hundred and six pounds. Wow, he's really light for eight feet tall. Especially because he's made out of, of out of metal and stuff. How much does Flame Mammoth weigh? Okay, that's what seven hundred and nineteen pounds. Okay, Chill Penguin weighs two hundred thirty-seven pounds. So Boomer Kawanger must be really slim. I'm gonna have to take a look at his, at him when we see him. So anyway. Looking at the map, we've conquered the giant, the tall mountain. We've conquered the aquatic base. We've conquered the mine in the in the not snowy mountain. Now we are heading to this tower in a in a lake. That that makes a lot of sense. Okay, anyway, I will see you guys next time. We're gonna take on the uh, Kuanger, which you'll find out what a Kuanger is in the next episode too. It's a real thing, I promise. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.